Logano. Big crash. Oh, he's oh, upside no. down. Over and over, Logano goes between three and four. Ooh, no. A car will come back to rest on all four tires. See the crew here, they're trying to see the replay. Now the window net is down. That's the drivers are told in the drivers meeting that if you are awake and alert, put that window net down so we know the safety crews will know. There's the window net down on Robbie Gordon's car. There's a great sign right there. Joey Logano coming out of the car. That's a scary looking crash right there. Really just kind of a stack up effect. Like was one of them got on the brakes and it's kind of forced. Yeah, look at Tony Stewart just missing this crash. Man, here's where it really gets gets exciting. Man, we talked about that. There's nowhere to go as you come off of these corners, and when something like this happens, you you really have you make a commitment, and you've got one opportunity really to miss this wreck. Tony Stewart did a great job. Some others got caught up in. Let's drive along with Tony Stewart here. See it develop right in front of him. He actually got into the back of the twenty. As he checked up. Come on, come on, come on. You know it's going to be bad right here when he comes up in front of traffic. Reed Sorensen makes the impact. Scott Speed got a piece of it also. The car is actually going backwards when it starts to lift up and go over and begin to tumble. Yeah, it's just being pushed, and as he kind of dug in a little bit and, and it was uh, continued to get pushed there that's what got it up and rolling you hear what you would talk about how high the banks are here and you see he just tumbling down that bank there's so much height difference right there from the top of the bank down to the apron three stories the difference between the top and the bottom 24 degree banks. Just side over side over side, a violent impact. And the good news that uh, this new car that NASCAR brought on, what, three years ago, and the driver able to walk away. By the time I got to Joey, um, I think pretty much everything was out of our hands at that point. Um, you know, the one was pushing me into the into the 20 there kind of, and, and I was trying to slow down as much as I could. But looks like the 96 got checked up somehow, and then the 20 checked up, and I saw the 14 get into the 20. And, uh, you know, he was on the brakes pretty hard, and I tried to go the outside of him and, and uh, try to get around the wreck there, and the, the 20 came right back up the track in front of us. So it's a pretty wild wreck. It's um, something you don't really plan for. Or you can't, uh, can't miss those kind of wrecks. It just kind of happened right in front of us, and, and Joey's okay. I talked to him, and just glad he's all right. I think he's a little shaken up by it. But Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It just really scared the heck out of me. That's pretty much what the, the biggest thing was. I was uh, firing the whole time. It just... Uh, not 100 sure what happened. Um, spotter was clearing me low. I got down there and then uh, they checked up getting into the corner and uh, looked like I got tagged from behind. I'm not really sure. I haven't seen a replay yet. I'm not sure I want to see a replay, but uh, it seemed like it started rolling and I was in there like, damn, please make this thing stop. And it wouldn't, and it just kept going and going. But uh, I was fine. It goes to show how safe these cars are. They're really, I mean, I was, uh, I was fine. I think we had a, a pretty good Home Depot Toyota. We took off good. Uh, we, you know, we didn't, we lost a few spots after the first pit stop, but. Uh, yeah, it was early in the race for that, and uh, I'm just—it just startled me. I'm fine. That's the—that's the big part. Joey, you've done a lot of racing in your young 19 years. How did that compare to anything you've been through? <laughs> that was the wildest ride I've ever been on. You can't go on a roller coaster any worse than that. <laughs>